the reasons why we are here purposely about the closure of the Karoma Bridge. If I'm to take you to the background briefly, you remember in May, the director for UNRWA came to Karoma and gave three months that the Karoma Bridge shall be worked on. There, they closed the bridge for the buses and AV vehicles. In July, again, the minister, Musa Ishwero, came with the contractor. And Musa Ishwero also gave three months. And he said the bridge shall be ready after three months. Then in September, Minister Katumba Wamala came again with another directive. And for Katumba, he made the announcement that the bridge shall be closed permanently. Having seen three different people giving three months, three months each, we started suspecting something wrong as members of parliament from the Greater North. Why is it all of them that are coming, they are giving three months? Nevertheless, we decided to come down as members of parliament because we are watching and following what is going on. And then after the closure of the bridge, the minister made the pronouncement that the roads had been diverted. We accepted. They mentioned how the roads shall move. Those from West Nile, Lango and Acholi, they will pass from Pakwaj, and the heavy cars will pass from Bulisa, Masindi, and Kampala. And they made mention that the route from Pakwaj to Masindi direct, that route shall be paid for. And we thought they were joking. They started the implementation and they started collecting money from the drivers. The first time when they just started, buses were paying 210,000 for the bus and each and every individual in the bus pays 25,000 shillings. The small cars like ours, we were paying 40,000 and all the occupants pays 25,000 shillings each. And when the members of parliament from Greater North became hot on them last week on the floor of parliament, the minister gave another directive that they have allowed only buses to pass freely. Any other small car shall continue paying. And that is the stand as per now. Our major concern now is that since the Karuma Bridge was closed, and we don't know when the work shall be done. We now demand that all vehicles coming from northern Uganda, going to Kampala, crossing from this road, must be allowed to move free of charge without any payment. That is our serious demand. And that is why we are fighting for the rights of our people. If you look at the closure of this Karoma, it has brought serious problems in the Greater North. Businesses of our people are down. There are other people who collected buses on loan. Now they are packed their buses because there are no customers. Prices of commodities are rising half time and again. And looking at this period, we are going towards Christmas. And this is the best time for our people to work money. Many people are on loan. Trading centers, where they used to have serious businesses, like Kamdini, Karoma, those centers have collapsed completely. So the closure of this Karoma is bringing us serious problem. And we are surprised seeing government again asking our people who are extremely poor to continue paying money when they're accessing this road. That's why we know we ask the government at a time on the floor of parliament that let them tell us which other road that passes through the park in this country is being paid for. When you are in Kasese traveling to 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 Barra, you pass via Queen Elizabeth National Park and it's totally free. Animals are everywhere on the road and buses move the whole night. And what is so special 
with our road. When you are passing from Barara to Masaka, you pass via Lake Boro National Park. It's quite free. When you are passing from Fort Putol to Budibuju, you pass via Semuliki National Park. It's quite free. Why is it the only road that connects to northern Uganda is being paid for? Yet the road was built using our taxpayers' money. So our concern as members of parliament is that let the road be let free. And today we are here. From here, we are traveling to the gate. From the gate, we are going to meet the chief warden and we would like the government to send very serious warning that government should stop collecting money from the people traveling to northern Uganda. Let this road be left free of charge without any payment. That is the gist of the matter, what brought us here. I will allow my colleagues to supplement. Then if you have any question, you will feel free to ask. Let me invite the chairperson, Lango Parliamentary Group, to speak to you.